Howdy interweb sports fans, well I know what you're thinking. How many more bandanas can one have? I'm not sure, but I think it's going to be in the 30s or something. So I know you're here to see some highlights from this week's semi-finals, but I just have to remind you one more time. I'm Sam Feller and I welcome you to Finals Fever, pad it up. So the first semi-final game was between the first place Port Adelaide Spartans and the fourth place Adelaide Eagles. As the regular season would have it, these teams have met twice before. On both occasions, the Spartans dominated the field. The first encounter saw them shutting the Eagles out 46 points to zero. In the second time they met, the Eagles improved, but only slightly, losing 42 to seven. So reading the Colts Chronicle this week, and any week, as their scores were huge and a high number of wins, you would put the Spartans down as favorites to win. As it turned out, the Eagles took charge of the first half and outscored the Spartans 14 to zero, with defense picking up the first TD of the game and the offense running it in shortly after. The second half saw more scores and more excitement. So Eagles scored first again, and the Spartans grabbed three TDs, a two-point conversion, and a missed one-point pat to level it off. Late in the half, Eagles scored on the ground again to get up by seven. Not to be outdone, Spartans threw and completed a huge pass to get them in scoring distance. Next play, ran it in to be down by one point. Spartans went all or nothing on the two-point conversion. Eagles stopped the goal line drive, and Spartans came up with nothing. Eagles knelt the rest of the game to take home a win that has been three years in the making, and the biggest upset of this season. Fourth place defeating first to see themselves in the grand final. The final score, Eagles 28, Spartans 27. Now we bring on the second semi-final. The number two place South City Chiefs taking on the third place Eastside Razorbacks. Both teams have worked hard all season, but the Chiefs were the favourites going into this game. This was because on both times they met, Chiefs came out on top. The first game saw 32 points to 20, and the final game of the regular season, Chiefs trumped the Razorbacks by a massive 56 points to zero. So the scoring got off to a very slow start. Razorbacks grabbed the lead first with a passing touchdown and a two-point conversion. Chiefs got a great pass and scored, but was flagged and had to come back. Throughout the half, there was some change of possessions happening, huge hits and great passes. But let's face it, scores are what matters in the finals. In the second half, Chiefs converted on a fourth down and then were able to get on the board with a pass and running into the end zone. They were unable to level it off on the two-point, sadly. What's more sad for the Chiefs was that they, like many, underestimated the Razorbacks in final series. They seemed to somehow bite back and hard. Razorbacks intercepted three passes and returned one all the way for a touchdown. In the end, another huge upset, third taking out second place for a spot in the grand final. The final score, Razorbacks 14, Chiefs 6. Well, there it is. If you were to see any two games this year, they were it. But if you're only able to make it out to one, then you better make it to the grand final. The game is being held at the same place as it has been all year round. Mitchell Park, the corner of Devereux Road and Hay Road, Linden Park. The game kicks off at 1pm and my team and I will be there to record the game for all to see that don't make it. I'm Sam Fern and I'll catch you at the game or next time on Finals Fever, Pad It Up.
Amen.